Hey guys, Mortal Carnot here, and today I'm going to give you the torque specs for the rod bearings. All right, the rod caps uh, for 2009 to current. This is the Volkswagen TSI engine, very popular engine, CBFA, CCTA, uh, B. PY, this is found in most VWs with the 2.0 TSI. It's also found in the Audi. And you, your, your European guys is the Skoda, the Seat, the Cupra, anything with the VW 2.0 liter engine. All right? So there's not a lot of specs out there, and they're very, like, you know, they can contradict each other. So uh, this is right from VW, okay? So... Obviously, they're out. I didn't put them in yet, but you don't have to really do them in sequence. It really doesn't matter, but if you want to, you know, it really doesn't matter, but you can do one, two, three, and four like that if that makes you feel better, and when you talk to them, same thing. It doesn't matter which one you talk down first as long as you talk them properly, all right? So the first is, uh, and this size, let me get the size of this. Okay, and what we're going to use, this is a E10. E10, it's like a female Torx. Okay, and that's what you're going to use to torque those uh, bolts down. And the first, the first pass is going to be with a torque wrench. You're going to go to 22 foot-pounds, each one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, all the way to eight. All right, and after that, you're going to do an additional 90 degrees. So what that means, you don't really need an angle torque wrench if you don't have one. Because it's simple. You just put a wrench on there, a socket wrench, a longer one, whatever. You start perpendicular to the block, or you can start, you know, parallel with the block. It doesn't matter. But you go 90 degrees is a quarter turn. Okay? You do that, 90 degrees, quarter turn. All eight of them, and then they're torqued down properly. So to recap, you torque them all first to 22 foot-pounds, not inch-pounds, foot-pounds. And then an additional 90 90. Uh, 90 degrees, not 90 foot-pounds. People get confused, okay? It's 90 degrees, angle talk. And then we're done. All right, guys? And uh, after that, make sure the crankshaft spins. With all the pistons in, it may be a little bit too much resistance by hand. You use a wrench, and it should not It should turn just a little, a little resistance. It shouldn't be hard or really hard that you got to really, like, crank it down. That means that something's wrong. Uh, maybe the oil bearing clearances, something is off, they're too tight. You would have to recheck your oil bearing clearances or bindings on the sides of the uh, caps to the uh, the journal of the crank. I've seen that sometimes, especially if you get aftermarket parts that don't really fit properly. Some of them do, some don't. So that's just uh, a heads up on that. All right, guys, motor car nut, please subscribe, hit the like button. Any questions pertaining to the video, leave them below. I try to help everybody out, get you back on the road, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I really appreciate all the comments and all the positive feedback, and we'll talk soon. Thank you very much for watching.